What's going on, YouTube? Fun Collector Kev here. Today I got a super big haul from the pops that I bought this previous week. I got a bunch of different things. One from an online seller, one from a local seller friend, and another $25 mystery box I picked up from Fugitive Toys. So let's get into it. Alright guys, so the first thing I want to show you is another Disney Parks Pop that I picked up. Um, this is kind of a Disney Parks Pop, but um, you'll see what it's inside. But I wanted to grab this one because, again, like the, along with the Disney line, it's going up in value. Um, and I wanted to grab this one because it fits with my Disney Parks collection, sort of. But you guys will see when I open it up. Um, I saw I found it for a good deal. There's a little bit of damage on the box, which is kind of why the seller was selling it for a little bit cheaper than Hot Price Guide, but I definitely want to pick it up. And let's see how it shows up. So this is, let me take it out of the green bubble wrap before I show you guys. This one is the Mr. Toad San Diego, San Diego Comic Con limited to 1500 pieces and i said this is sort of a disney parks pop because this is actually not a disney parks exclusive nor is there a disney parks exclusive for this one um, this is a san diego comic con release but i'm not sure if you guys know at disneyland there's a mr wild mr toad's wild ride if you've ever been there but it's that kind of a smaller ride and um kind of a fun nostalgic ride for me growing up i remember as a really really small kid i got really scared because actually at the end of the ride spoiler alert you end up in hell and the deep and satan is there like stabbing mr toad so i actually never seen the movie if it is a movie but i just remember riding that as a kid as you see there's like a little bit of a tear on the top and here is here he is in the box condition but for other than that the box is pretty good condition so i'm pretty happy with picking him up finally um, and I'm gonna add him onto my shelf somewhere I'm kind of running out of room so I'm gonna have to move some stuff around to make some space along with these other pops that I got kind of sick today so that's why I sound kind of uh, congested but hopefully you guys don't mind hopefully I don't get any of you guys sick from this video but thanks for tuning in uh, be sure to hit the like and subscribe as always, and comment below which of these pops are your favorite that I grabbed. So these next set of pops, also I was not like looking to pick them up, but wait, let me put them here. Um, but again, like I saw my friend, my local friend post a really good deal on, um, I think it was the Funko Pop Vinyls group on Facebook. If you guys aren't in that group, go check it out. A lot of people post their collections and a lot of um, cool pops for sale. And you might find some good deals, which I did here. So I actually met him up locally because I actually bought the Indiana Jones pop off him before. So I knew him and uh, we talked it out. He had a really, really good price on these pops. So I was, again, I was just like, all right, I'm going to pick them up. So these are... The San Diego Comic-Con Haunted Mansion Glow-in-the-Dark Pops. There's Phineas, Ezra, and Gus. So I grabbed these. As you guys know, I got my Hatbox Ghost a little while ago. So I'm probably going to have to get end up getting the hat, Disney Parks Hatbox Ghost. But um, again, these were, he had it for a price that I couldn't refuse and he kind of gave me a more of a discount because it's local and he didn't have to ship it and deal with fees and all that. Um, and he was able to sell it that same day. So I picked these up and I'm really excited about these. I think the glow on these is pretty cool. Um, if you guys don't have like a black light for your glow in the dark props, I recommend you guys getting one because the, the black light pop, the gla the black light actually makes the glow look really, really nice and it, it shines really bright. So if you guys don't have one of these, I would pick one up. I think I got it for like 10, 15 bucks on Amazon. But in my opinion, like it really lets you enjoy the glow in the dark really, really well. So as you can see, even with the lights on, you can start seeing that glow there. Um, I'm gonna check the rest of these out more later. But from what I've seen in pictures, the glow on these are like really cool. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna have to find a good spot on my shelf 
for these as well because um kind of running out of room as you see so i'm gonna have to move some stuff around and make some space but i'm really really glad to finish off my haunted mansion san diego comic-con set with these guys um and of course with the hatbox ghost so i'm rounding out the disney parks and also i found out that alice in wonderland uh teacups is coming out this saturday january 26th so i'm probably gonna look to pick one of those up in the group or uh, i don't think i have any friends in socal at the moment but if i know anybody to go pick me up one i'll go reach out to them um, let me know if you guys are planning on picking up any new disney park pops or that alice in wonderland pop as well um, again, hit the like and subscribe on this video and we will move to the last portion of this video, which is another $25 mystery box I picked up from Fugitive Toys. This actually feels kind of heavy. I don't think they pack any in, in stacks, so I think it's probably just a heavy pop. But this is number 13. This is the one I got uh, on the day that I spun their Wheel of Awesomeness. If you guys haven't checked that video out, check it out in the link right here. I won a super cool pop from there. Um, uh, let me know what you guys thought of those prizes or how I did, but it's just so fun to just leave your um, what leave your fate up to chance, I guess, and and see what prize you're gonna get. But I did it, and I came out with a pretty cool prize. So let's see how we do with this twenty five dollar mystery box. So let me open it up, and I will try to show the top first. Let me see if I know which side is the top. Okay, I think it's top. So this pop is a Black Panther Okoye 2018 Fall Convention exclusive. All right, this is my first uh, Black Panther pop. And this is the Disney part, or this is not Disney Parks, this is a Marvel. I got mixed up with Disney because I know Disney owns Marvel now, but Okoye Black Panther pop. Um, I know they have a Black Panther pop where the wig comes off. Is that this one? I think that might be this one, actually. Um, why not open it up and check it out? But, yeah, pretty cool pop. Fall convention exclusive. I'm not sure exactly how much this is worth, but I'm going to open up the box and check out the price, and I'll be right back. All right, guys, so I'm back from checking the price. Um, so she is actually $18 on pop price, guys, so not quite the $25 that I spent to get her. But again, not disappointed in this pop that's uh, this Black Panther Marvel pop. Pretty unique as well. Um, as, I saying, as I was saying, this is the one that the hair comes off. She's actually a really, really detailed pop with her uh, superhuman killing spear and her dress. But um, this is also a bobblehead as you see, but the hair actually comes off of this one. If I can do it without breaking her. How are you supposed to do this actually? Okay, having a little bit of trouble. Okay, let's see. Are you supposed to take this off without breaking the... <sighs> kind of difficult to take off actually, but I almost got it. And there we go. So I got the wig off and here she is. So as you know, in the movie, Okoye is wearing the wig as she goes into that secret gambling ring area, the casino thing. And then she takes this off and throws out the guy's face right before she stabs him with the spear. So this is a pretty cool figure from the movie. She was actually one of my favorite characters from Black Panther. Um, as I said, didn't quite get my money back from this pop, but again, it can never be a loss with a Black Panther Marvel pop. That's also really, really unique with the, this is the only pop I know of with a wig that comes off and Okoye is one of my favorite characters. So I'm really excited to have this one. Again, guys, um, please hit the like and subscribe in the, and leave a comment below. Um, I got little, my little icon in the bottom right corner. They can just click to subscribe. Thank you all for tuning in. I hope you guys are having a wonderful, fantabulous day. Did I say fantabulous? Fantastic day. Um, thank you all so much for your support. And I'll be seeing you guys in my next video.